In this video, I'm going to talk about color palettes you can use on black t-shirts and how to find your own. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to talk about color palettes, but more specifically, color palettes that you can use on black t-shirts. We know that black t-shirts sell the best on a lot of the print-on-demand sites, especially Merch by Amazon. And so these color palettes are designed especially for black t-shirts so that you can make your design stand out uh, over the other black t-shirts that are out there right now. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how I found these color palettes and how you can make your own color palettes. So I'm also gonna show you different color palettes that I think are really good for black t-shirts, some of the ones that I found, and I'm gonna give you the codes for those. So you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end so you can see all the color palettes as well as another edition of Trend Credits. So let's get into it. Let me show you first how I find these color palettes. So I wanted to start here first. This is Coolers. You may have seen this on some of my other videos where you can make your own color palettes. This is a good way to make color palettes, but I'm not gonna talk about this way because I've talked about it in other videos. So if you wanna check out some of my other videos, you can do that. Or you can you know, go on here, coolers.co, lots of cool color palettes. Just make sure they are light colors to work on a black one and you just wanna test it. But what I'm gonna do is something different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to Amazon and I'm gonna look at these and figure out which ones have really good colors. You can see white, of course, has the best contrast on black. So you're gonna see a lot of white on here. Uh, red also stands out. So you're gonna see lots of red and white combos on black, especially during uh, Valentine's Day and things like that. Uh, light yellow is a good one. But if you wanna go down here, I'm gonna scroll down and just click on this one here. This is Cobra Kai. Don't copy this, but you can see it's really nice, the, the color scheme. I like this color on black. So I'm just gonna screenshot it right here. And we're not gonna copy the design, we're just taking the colors. After taking a screenshot of these colors, I'm gonna bring it into Affinity Designer and show you how I take those colors so that I can use them on my design. So let's go into Affinity Designer and I'll show you with the eyedrop tool what I mean. So here I am in Affinity Designer and I got the color palette here and I can use this eyedrop tool in the color palette. I'm just gonna hold down my mouse and then hover over the color that I want. You see that yellow there? And then when I click on this one, I can change it to that yellow. Same thing with the white and the red. Let me get a red here, red. And the white's just gonna be a white. And I like using CMYK because that's the color scheme that you're gonna use when printing anything. So printing t-shirts, printing posters, anything that's printed is gonna be using CMYK. So you can see the yellow is 12 cyan, seven magenta, 80 yellow, and zero K. So that's the yellow they're using here. And the red is seven cyan, 100 magenta, 96 yellow and 1k and then you can use these on black i put this black back here so you can see how bright it is against a black t-shirt now let me show you the reason why i do cmyk versus rgb so here are rgb and cmyk colors so rgb colors are colors that are used on monitors and made with light so you can see here there's a lot more rgb colors than there are cmyk colors and sometimes there's some RGB colors that CMYK colors cannot match. So let's go here, I'll show you what I mean. Let me switch these to this RGB color. So first of all, this RGB is, if we go to this RGB right here, this is full red, 255 red RGB. This is the full green, 255 green, and 255 blue, okay? Now, if I try to match those in CMYK, let's go back to CMYK. Let's see if matching that. You can see here, it's, it's still the RGB color when I touch it here. That is what's gonna happen for your red. It's not gonna be this bright because you can see right here, it's talking about this red right here that's not inside the CMYK color. So that makes sense. So let's do the same for green. You can see the green is way up here 
right? And the highest green that CMYK has is down here. So that's what's happening here. Let's turn this to green. This is the RGB green, but if I touch the CMYK, you can see that's about the closest you can get for CMYK. And for the blue, this super bright blue, that's this right here. And if you try to copy that blue, on screen you'll see this, but when it prints, you're gonna see this. And that happens with a lot of colors. So you can see RGB, what you'll see a lot times are a lot brighter than how it will print in CMYK. So just be careful with that. And so that's why I suggest using CMYK colors. You're gonna see in all these color palettes that I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show the CMYK colors, not the RGB colors or the hex code colors, because RGB and hex codes are for screens, monitors, iPhones, those kinds of things. CMYK colors are for things that are gonna print, posters, paper, brochures, and T-shirts. So anything like that, use CMYK. Of course, we're gonna save our designs to PNG, which is RGB colors. So when you save a PNG with CMYK colors, it's gonna convert it to RGB, but it's gonna be safe in here inside of the CMYK colors. And so when you print it, you shouldn't have any problems, okay? So that's why, that's the difference between RGB and CMYK. I may do another video. If you want more in depth and you want me to do a more in depth video, leave a comment in the description and I can. But basically, if you just remember RGB is for monitors, CMYK are for printers, I think you'll do really well. All right, so now that we know that, that we're gonna use CMYK colors and not RGB colors, let me show you some of the color palettes that I think will do really well and how I got them. So I'm gonna call this the Mardi Gras color palette. Mardi Gras is coming up. You can see th this is using some really bright uh, colors and it's because they probably did this in RGB. These are my CMYK equivalents. So I don't have it, it doesn't look this bright. This is what happened like I showed before. So if you notice some colors on here that don't exactly match this, this is probably RGB colors and I converted it. So you can take a screenshot here. These are the CMYK colors for this and this and this and white. You can see white is 0000. zero, zero, zero. This yellow is mostly yellow. And that's another reason I like using CMYK colors. It's just really easy to understand. Like if it's yellow and magenta, you got red. If it's cyan and yellow, you got green. If it's cyan and magenta, you got purple, right? So simple. And of course, if you add more black, it's just darker less black is whiter. None, none of the colors is white, right? On, and that's the opposite for RGB. So I, I just love using CMYK. It just makes it uh, easier, you know, more like you're mixing paint. So uh, very easy to understand. So this is my Mardi Gras color. You can see some of these right here. This works really well on black because of the bright colors. Of course, white in here has the strongest contrast, but you got some nice contrast here with the yellow too. And Mardi Gras is coming up, so uh, use this color palette. Go ahead and use it and, and have fun with this. You, you don't have to only use it for Mardi Gras, it, but it works well, so you can see right here. So the next color palette that I wanna share with you is this vintage sunset color palette. It's a little more muted than the other one, so you can see it's not so bright. So this vintage sunset color palette is trending. It's been trending for a while. And you can see this is more of an off-white and kind of a muted rainbow of colors, so kind of a muted blue, green, kind of yellow, orange, red, right? And you can see I took the colors from here, but um, you can see it in a lot of other places, but this is kind of how it would look like on a t-shirt. It works really well for vintage stuff, so vintage sunset color palette. Uh, think of things that you wanna make look retro or um, you know from the 70s or stuff like that, and of course, on the sunset, on the vintage sunset. It works really well. So this is color palette number two, vintage sunset color palette. So the next color palette I like is this autumn sunset color palette, a little darker, um, but they're using white and blue. So it's kind of a that rainbow, but a little darker. You can see um, you may not wanna use this a lot because this doesn't have a high contrast but it's nice when it's used with all these other colors. So the ones with the most contrast, of course, are the orange, the, the blue, and the white here. So you can take a screenshot of this and use this color palette on black. You can see it looks really nice here. They're, of course, they're using a lot of this orange color right here, 
and some some white it didn't use a lot of white but it would look really good with white text as well in this one so you can use your colors interchangeably of course i probably wouldn't use this dark color for text because it doesn't have the high contrast i would save my text for either the white the blue or the orange here so that is your autumn sunset color palette use this one as well for you know vintage sunsets uh, more of a darker vintage sunset or things more for autumn colors like uh, Thanksgiving, things around there in October. This would do really well for that. So uh, have fun with this one. Of course, again, the CMYK colors here. You can see a, a little more dark on this one. So that is the third color palette. So the fourth color palette here, I'm calling Magic Unicorn Color Palette. You can see this is a little brighter color palette. We've got your whites and pinks, even the pink uh, does really well on black so that stands out you can see I, I would make it white too so any of these colors right here would do really well on the black for text this one's probably more of a background color you can see uh, it still stands out on white but I wouldn't use it for text but this is a great one for unicorns and other um, maybe little girl kind of things uh, they this color palette has those pinks and the purples and so do really well for for girl designs uh, teenage girls as well as younger girls maybe even adult girls depending on what the design is here but this this color palette works really well for that and it stands out really nice on black too so anything that you want to color purple or pink uh, and white you can use this color palette and those are the cmyk colors right there so for my fifth color palette I'm gonna do this super bright rainbow color palette you can see this is really great for kids lots of colors in here I didn't put in white but of course white uh, is being used here that's just gonna be CMYK 0000 but here are a lot of colors on the rainbow uh, each one of these are great on here you can see it stands out probably the one with the least contrast is this one right here but all of them have pretty good contrast when it's on the black they're pretty bright um, probably the brightest colors on the CMYK, just these rainbow of colors, they work really well. And of course they work well for these school designs, elementary school. And of course these colors would work really well for any rainbow designs too with the white being clouds in this rainbow here. So this is what I'm calling the bright rainbow color palette. Look at these CMYK colors, take a screenshot of this one and have fun with this one. This is going to be a good one. So my last one here, I wanted to share with you one of my t-shirts. So this is one that I designed. It's called Corgi with Boba color palette. You can see I went really muted on this one. Uh, the darkest color I hear is for the Corgi, but even that has some contrast here. So I used a lot of white because white, it has the best contrast on black. As you know, it's the opposite of black, but you got some light colors here to this one's a lot like the unicorn one but instead of the dark purples for the unicorn i have this kind of beigey orange kind of thing for the corgi so that's what i'm using for this and it works really well i would suggest using it on other things if you have a, a dog that is this color other things that are this color and here are the cmyk colors that i use so that is it those are all the color palettes i wanted to share with you and of course you can find your own color palettes. If you find a t-shirt that you like that has great colors on black, just take a screenshot and use your uh, eyedropper tool and take the colors from it. That's exactly what I did for these color palettes. I just took the eyedrop tool and took the colors from here. So let's look at all of them again. Corgi with Boba color palette, Bright Rainbow color palette, Magic Unicorn color palette, Autumn Sunset color palette, Vintage Sunset Color Palette, probably my favorite, probably the one you see a lot. Uh, Mardi Gras uh, Color Palette as well. And of course, white, yellow, reds, those are do really well on black too. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have a color palette that's your favorite or if you wanna see other color palettes for other t-shirts, maybe on a white t-shirt or on a blue or a red t-shirt, I can do that in another video as well. Thanks so much for watching and your reward is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying for the Trend Credits. Here is your Trend Mars Landing t-shirt. 
take a look at these BSRs super low and that's because that happened really recently. You can see February 18th. So the rover landed there on Mars here and the rover's name is Perseverance. And you can see a lot of these right here. One thing I would suggest is not to do Perseverance. I know that you see it here, but that's kind of trademark, that's their name. And um, you may not even want to draw or take a screenshot of that. I, I would say that's, that's kind of bad. Think of different ways that you can do it. Um, without using those two things this one right here totally safe it's mars uh, maybe draw your own mars the word mars and an american flag that's super safe and you can see here uh, it's getting some low bsrs as well as merchant former the competition checker it's saying it's getting an a so you know it's good but just make sure not to use trademark things you know i see some nasa things here I would stay away from that. So the word itself, Perseverance, isn't trademarked, but when you combine it with Mars Rover, it's kind of iffy on that. So I would just kind of be careful about that. Uh, of course, don't take any screenshots or things off the internet for the actual Rover. That would be bad. So there's lots of different ways that you can do this Mars landing t-shirt. You don't have to copy the exact words here, but just think about different ways where you can have a shirt that's celebrating the Mars landing. The date's fine too, so this is something that, that people will wanna celebrate and wanna have a souvenir, kind of a remembrance of that date. Um, still not too late, I don't think, if you do something that's really standing out. So I just wanted to share this trend with you um, because it's something important in pop culture that also comes onto t-shirts. So that is your trend today. Mars landing t-shirt. Think of a way that you can do it that is different and can stand out and that people that who love these Mars rover touchdowns would want to buy. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. If this video gave you some value, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. I have a subscribe button right here at the bottom right. You can click on that if you're not subscribed already. Again, thanks so much for watching and as always, Keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.